Welcome back, everybody, to episode 7 as I play through Crusader Kings 3, beginning in 1066. Uh, with episode 1, if you didn't see all the way back to the beginning of episode 1, there's a link in the description below that will take you back to that point. We have now gone a total of 36 years in the game. Our Earl Edward is now 61. His wife is 54. We have five grown children. Edward is 34, my heir. Uh, we have Jacob, who has gone into the, uh, has become a monk. Uh, we have Countess Elizabeth uh, of Desmond, who's 24. We have uh, Edelflaed, who is 20. Uh, and she is uh, of our house uh, because we did a uh, matrilineal marriage. And she has a child as well, Isaac Greenhill. And then we have our youngest, Anna, who is married to Eldwine of House Elfrickson. Uh, and her children will inherit uh, the earldom of Lan uh, Leicester, uh, Leicestershire, Nottinghamshire, and the Bishopwick of Sherwood. Uh, and that's little Lucy, uh, but there's no, no son so far. Uh, right now, I'm taking a look at our knights because we had that disaster during the Crusades in the last episode. Uh, even though we ended up winning the Crusades, my army was wiped out. and So we've got a couple of open spots right now uh, in uh, among our knights. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and recruit this guy to court. It's going to cost us 20 gold. Well, we've got a ton of gold right now, which we should probably be investing. Um, we can just invite some knights if we want to. We can allow uh, some people to become knights if we so choose. But let's go ahead and take a look at what we might spend some of our investment on. We've got a lot of open spots here. We could increase our garrison. It's actually not a bad idea, plus it increases tax holdings. Um, beyond that, we're already constructing here, so we can't do anything else, but I'm probably going to go ahead and build up that castle next chance I get. I'm also going to go ahead and create another men-at-arms regiment. Uh, we're going to create some house carls. Which is going to cost me some money for a while while we recruit them. But once we have them recruited, it's going to be a nice addition. Alright. As I open my eyes in the dark, I'm feeling... Oh, I am immediately overwhelmed by an ominous feeling. Is someone watching me? Are you ready to embrace the truth, Edward? I would recognize that voice anywhere. It must be my courtier, Aleswith. The horned god offers you his blessing. Will you accept it? What? She's a witch. We found a witch. May we burn her. And of course, we all know what we burn apart from witches. More witches. Countess Elizabeth is fiddling nervously with her sleeve as I open the door to my chambers. This is my daughter. What is she doing here at this hour? My deepest apologies. I must speak with you in private. I have discovered something very interesting. She has uncovered a secret of Reeve Aidgith's. She's willing to share it with me if I let her off the hook. Okay, sure, why not? He's a... Wait, 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 wait. Reeve Aidgith is a cannibal... She's a cannibal. She's a lustful, sadistic, lazy. She has lover's pox. She has a venereal disease. And she's a cannibal. My goodness. That's a lot to take in. Uh, all right, so we've completed our, our project in Warwickshire. Uh, what I want to do now is I want to take a look at what would happen if we upgrade the crop fields. That's actually, a, I think that's a good way to invest to get some more tax holdings and I might actually do that here too in Northampton I'm gonna upgrade those crop fields as well or the hamlets so we have more workers to work more fields I'm now 62 I want to look at my my children for a second because um, okay they're all still married I was just double checking because for some reason I was thinking one of their spouses may have died but I guess not um, yeah, I think we're good. So my grandson and future future heir is actually um, eligible to get married now. He's 16. So let's go ahead and see if we can find a good spouse for him that'll provide some decent stats. Some of all skills. Oh, look at this Norwegian, Huld Blindheim. Uh, little old, 
maybe this is the way to go here because Almodis is French uh, and she's only 17. Now it's going to hurt his prestige a little bit, but honestly, I'm more concerned about what she offers as far as the stats go for future heirs down the road. I'm thinking long, long term now. My counselor Aelfrith died of old age. Good, you witch. Go away. I accept your marriage proposal. Excellent. Empty council position. Oh, that was my spy master. Okay. Uh, we need a new spy master. Oh, here we go. Let's recruit this lady to court. She's got a really high number in spy master skill. All right, we're going to make her the spy master. I don't want to make her court physician. Where is she? Right here. Perfect. Excellent. All right, we've got 1,200 piety right now. We can spend some of that and get some gold. Oh, he won't accept this time? Uh, Pope's, Pope Clemens' opinion of me is not good enough. So let's see what we can do to sway the Pope. It's going to take a while, and I might not live that long. Okay. To make King Bishop Clemens of the Papacy more susceptible to my attempts, I can include a compliment in my next missive to his court. Um, how old is he? I don't think I can mention his youthful vigor. Clear rationality. We'll mention that. Excellent. So that helps. So, any better chance now of... Oh, jeez. <laughs> the second I swayed him, he died. Okay, well, so much for that. I guess we got to wait for a new pope and ask him. Uh, let's look. Our income right now is 7.9. I'm just thinking about other ways in which we can invest. Accusations of sorcery. Aid Frith of Lincoln. I really don't need the piety at this point. So I'm thinking we're going to say the evidence is circumstantial, release him. We've got plenty of piety right now. Plenty of prestige. Wish I had a little more gold, but I've been investing everything I've been making. So, In Birmingham, what can we invest here? Most of these will increase the levies, but not a lot for money. So let's go guilds. And we could actually probably invest something somewhere else too. Uh, how about... Military camps. So we're building up our levies a little bit. We've got a nice income going, 8.3. Oh, another child of my destiny. My courtier Almadis has given birth to a son. Now we're going to name him Edward. Excellent. So let's take a look at where we're at now in terms of our dynasty. I love looking at the family tree since that's a thing I'm really into anyway. Uh, so you can see here, I've got a great grandson, Edward. Now that uh, Edward got married, um, that was the firstborn great-grandson. So we've got Edward, 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 Edward. That seems to be the way we're going with this stuff. Rachel's not ready to get married yet, but I've got one great-grandchild. I've got how many grandchildren now? Four, five. I've got five grandchildren and a great-grandchild. Little Isaac died? When did that happen? Oh, he was sickly. And he died at the age of one. Oh, I, I didn't even get a notification for that. Oh, I mean, I know that's a thing that happens, but that doesn't make it any less any less sad that it happened. Well, hopefully, Ethelflaed will have some more. Or Eoflaed. Oh, this time, Pope Innocent III will accept my request for gold. Excellent. More investment time. Let's go over here to Worcester. Uh oh, renewed jihad. The house of Islam is under grave threat from the onslaught of heathens and infidels in its very heartland. In response, his magnificence, Caliph Abu Mansur al-Nizar, has declared that an era of renewed jihad is upon the world. 
the core regions of the Dar al-Islam must be retaken at all costs. So this is the Muslim version of a crusade. So they're going to come right back at us now. There's actually still a war going on. That I haven't really gotten involved in. And I don't think I will. Alright, where are we at? Just looking to see what kind of upgrades we can make. Uh, not hunting grounds. I think we'll go crop fields again. Getting a lot of these crop fields up to level 2. Available perk. Detailed ledgers. Okay, my granddaughter uh, Rachel can marry now. So let's look at the options that are available to us. And again, I'm looking for... Ooh, look at that. That's some high skill right there. I'm going to look at alliance power. A Welsh alliance would be fantastic, actually. Marry her off to a 62-year-old man. Can we make it matrilineal? No, we can't. But I like the idea of that alliance. All right. Just pawned off my granddaughter to a 62-year-old man. What's going on here? There's a peasant uprising against my liege. Again, not going to get involved. Okay, we've been called to war against the tyranny of Prince Owain. So I'm assuming this is a... Uh, okay. This is over in Wales. Who are we being called by? Oh, my new grandson-in-law has called us to this war. Um, Alright, sure. Why not? We haven't been in a war for a while. Chance to use this powerful army we've got. We'll send them right here. Off to Ireland we go. Oh, there it is. Right in the middle of the war. Earl Edward has died at the age of 65. 40 years we played with him. Earl Edward rests in the arms of the Lord. He died in old, of old age, a conscientious man. He is renowned for his excellent skills as a steward and a ruler. Earl Edward ascends to the throne. A crafty and perceptive man. He will have no problem gaining leverage where needed. So we are at war when we jump in with this new character. So let's go ahead and take a look at our lifestyle choice. Uh, because of my intrigue education, I gain 20% more experience in this lifestyle. Interesting. Um, I feel like I want to go learning, though. Yeah, and then we're going to go scholarship focus, for now, anyway. I'm not a young man. I mean, I'm 38 years old taking taking on this role. Where's my military? Did my army disband? Oh, we got defeated. Okay. Slaughter at Kildare. Holy cow, look at my levies. They got 41 kills and lost 755. Well, we were up against a pretty substantial army. Well, that's that. We need a new marshal. Nobody real great, unfortunately. All right. So my military is not nearly as big as it was. I'm not sure why that is. I mean, the max size is only 936 now. It was over 1,700. All right, I am not endorsed by my bishop, so I'm going to appoint him as a court physician and see what happens with that. In the meantime, we're losing money, so I think we do we do have our army still in the field somewhere. No, they're they're not in the field. We're just raising our men at arms back up. That's why we're losing so much money. Heresy, Mandeans in Moravia. 
Uh, no, we're not going to convert to that. Okay, so we lost the war. Not a big deal. We were just a uh, kind of a side part of that anyway. Go on a pilgrimage. Uh, should we do that? It's going to be expensive. Not a bad idea, though, because we're negative 55 on piety. Let's go ahead and go on a pilgrimage. Uh, could we go all the way to Jerusalem? Let's do it. All the way to Jerusalem on a pilgrimage. That'll make, gain us mad piety points. Because we're minus 55 right now. We had the gold to do that. It's a good way to start out, uh, even though I'm 39 years old. Pil pilgrimage, the end is nigh. The day of judgment is nigh. Repent, repent, I say, or you shall be damned for all eternity. The worried-looking townsfolk nervously whisper to each other, fearful of the doomsayer's words. Um, cast him down. He's not a priest. Give me some piety. Let's ramp up that piety as much as we can. Uh-oh. For every week that passes, my fellowship grows ever smaller. Some have gone as far as they can before they need to return home overtakes them. Others have met with less fortunate ends. Um, I'm going to lose 50 gold to hire some foreign guards. Or I can just say all I need is the divine protection of God. Let's do it. I'm also now the Marshal of Northumbria. So that's cool. Let's hope I live. Pilgrimage. Oh, Jerusalem. Jerusalem. 875 piety. Excellent. That's some good piety right there. I am known for my dedication to my faith. My liege, King Robert, has gone to war. It's good to be home. That was a really quick pilgrimage. can ask my head of faith for some gold back from all that piety I just gained. So major war happening here. The Kingdom of England going to war against the Kingdom of Alba. Scotland. Interesting. We'll just stay the heck out of that. Thank you for the money. Our culture has discovered horseshoes. That's cool. And what's going on here? Marital recriminations. I'm surprised to find my wife skulking in my study. Uh, Peter has gravely insulted me. We dealt with this before. This is my steward, mentor, and friend. Ooh. Tell me everything from the start. We're going to gain a little bit of stress from this. Uh, I am unsure what to think. I will talk with Peter. That's a good idea. Who do we lose? We lost our steward. We lost Peter? Well, that's no good. I don't have a very good steward available to me now. Hmm, I need to find a better one. No sooner had I appointed my steward than she died. So now I need another new steward. Now I'm down to nine. There's got to be somebody we can marry off in our court to bring in a better steward. So who do we have here? We've got Garb, who's 57. Uh, my mother. I could marry off my mother, right? Oh, what's going on? Let's pause here. Um, let's marry off my mother to someone with some good stewardship skill. 20. Ooh. Peter! We're going to bring him back? Because he left after all that crap happened with my wife. So let's do that. In the meantime, I'm passing through the castle gardens on a morning walk when a soft breeze carries the voices of Tundur and Amodis to my ears. Um... I'm sure it's nothing important. Excellent. So they're married. So that should allow me now to get my decent steward back. Maybe. Oh, I didn't make it a matrilineal marriage. So she, my mother just left. Oh, I screwed that up. Now my mother is off in Marionid. So she's in Wales. That didn't do me any good at all. Okay, so there is a peasant rabble faction against me because they want lower county control. And you can see here that they have 58% of the military power that I do. Uh, so that's not something I'm too awfully worried about right now. 
I do, however, want to think about expansion now that I am the next generation. Looking at my stats, by the way, I am fickle, deceitful, trusting, flamboyant trickster, but I am a pilgrim, so I have that going for me. Um, all right, so what do we have available for us as far as a claim goes? Herefordshire. Okay. Council. So that's, uh, who does that now? I forget. I think it's the marshal that does this now. No, it's the bishop. All right, bishop. Herefordshire. Let's do it. Not a day passes without the suffragan bishop Gustav making a mockery of me during his sermons. That obsessed knave is certain that I am agent of Satan. Dude, look at my piety. I am not an agent of Satan. I went on a pilgrimage. Time to shut him up. We could kill him. Oh, yeah. I don't think we want to go that far. A donation and a few concessions will calm him down. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go the charitable route. All right, we're building up our armies again. I'm looking at my realm now. Looks like we have pretty good control everywhere. My income's not what it was under my father. And I don't think that we can get high crown authority because the Anglo-Saxon culture does not have that. All right, we've gained a l new learning perk. Let's take a look at these for a minute here. Wards can gain additional skills, cultural fascination progress, anatomical studies. Oh, no. Faithful. Now, yeah, let's go scientific. Gustav has a favor hook on me. Oh, well. So, we're working on this fabrication of a claim in Herefordshire. I, I should have probably looked at this first to see who his allies are. He's got the Earl of Oxford. So I'm not too worried if that's all he's got. I can take on two earls. Marital recriminations. Man, why is everybody dissing my wife? I will deal with my spy master. All right, now we have an open council position. Oh, my sister can be the spy master. Well, my mother Sancha died, and I have an open position. Does that mean my sister died too? So my brother died at the age of nine. I remember that. She's a dishonorable villain. Uh, she just decided to leave the council, I guess. All right, back to court. Let's try this again. Man, just not a lot of great options. Almodis it is. Seriously, I think my wife just angers everybody. <laughs> this is the third time. Enough of these trivialities. Stop. Angering everybody. Stop getting frustrated by everybody. Just deal with it. We need another knight. Uh, we don't really have any options. I don't have enough prestige. I have no prestige for that matter. Oh boy. Lately it feels like I am constantly being distracted with lascivious thoughts and erotic fantasies. Uh, I hope none of them involve a shoe. That's all I'm saying. Uh, with all the hardships of my everyday life, it is too easy to lose myself in daydreams and forget about reality. A trip to the brothel will bring relief. Um, well, it will release the stress, but it'll also make me rakish. That's okay. Sometimes you have to make these trades. I'm starting to get to the impression that I am not a well-liked person. Uh, I don't have a good relationship with either of my children. Oh, I attempted to murder a family member? That must have happened before I took over this character. Uh, because you can see... Oh, you know what? That's right. I did... The character I'm playing now, Earl Edward, did try to get rid of his father, Edward. So that's why nobody likes him, because he tried to get rid of his father. At minus 70, is killing him with everybody right now. Well, eventually that'll 
take care of itself when he's gone, and we take on the the role of his son, who's 23. I was just looking around, and I see that I actually have a claim on the kingdom of Aragon. Uh, I guess that's through my mother. But I don't know how my power compares to them, but it's not something I'm really going to press. I just thought that was kind of interesting. I have a claim on Aragon. I have a, a claim on the sheikdom of Alto Aragon. Uh, we're not going to deal with this. We're going to take on this claim for Herefordshire, which we're going to have very, very soon. All right, two things going on here. Uh, dangerous faction. This peasant rabble is up to 76% discontent now. Uh, but we also, for the very first time, have a dynasty legacy to unlock. Now, these are not something we've had to deal with thus far. But we get to choose one of them. So I'm going to look around at each one of these. House of Warriors gives us knight effectiveness and more prowess. Law, popular opinion, and the, reduces the cost of hunts and feasts. Uh, ominous reputation, dread gain, nah, noble veins, chance of inheriting good congenital traits, 30%, and new ones, 30%. That's not bad. I might go that route. Vibrant court, guest recruitment cost is down. Nah. Desirable match, marriage acceptance, plus 30. That's actually, ooh, that's a good one, too. Bounteous loins, fertility. No, I think it's between noble veins and desirable match. Hmm. That's tough. I'm going to go Desirable Match. It's going to cost 250 Renown to buy it. And I already didn't have Renown. So we're back to very little. Oh wait, that's Prestige. That's different than Renown. Renown is over here. Greetings, Edward. See it done. Alright, so we've got our claim. Let's press it. Earl Wolfstan, I declare war on you, sir. I cannot afford the cost of this war, so upon declaring I will receive the following effects. A fame penalty of 200. Oh, because I don't have 100 prestige. All right, we're going to have to get the prestige first before we do it. Okay, so we're going to call a hunt because that will give us some opportunities to increase our prestige, which is something we need to do right now. So we're going to spend a little money to do that. Let's see. 500 stewardship lifestyle experience. Excellent. Uh, no, no. No, I don't want somebody dying. Your marshland then? Show us around. Okay, cool. Hundred and fifty prestige. Excellent. So that worked out perfectly. Back at it. Now we can do this without the prestige penalty. Oh, he has a pretty substantial army though. Look at that. Ooh. Eh, I'll take my chances. Raise the army. Let's slow things down here. Oh, yeah. You better run. And we caught up with him. Let's hope this works out. We've got more knights. He's got a slight advantage, but we've got the numbers. So we'll take care of this army, and then we'll go deal with the other army that's coming at me. The Battle of Worcester. Going very well in our favor. Excellent. That's right. So who do we capture? We captured Wreath uh, Third Sittle of Clifford. Oh, interesting, because I'm descended from the Cliffords. Yeah, that's their... I thought the Cliffords were from further north, though. All right, let's go deal with this army in Northampton. Here's the details of the of the battle. It all went really, really well. He's running with that army. All right, you know what? Forget that then. We'll just go lay siege to the barony of Hereford. 
We could r ransom this guy for 30 gold. Let's do it. I'm inspecting the barracks infirmary when a severely injured soldier is brought in. He is losing too much blood. Where's the physician? Gustav is nowhere to be found. A chill runs down my spine. I might be this man's only hope. Interesting. Hand me the tourniquet. Do it. Our patient screams and thrashes. We did everything we could, Edward. Uh, didn't work out. So we're going to have a friendship there now. This is going to take a long time for this siege. Oh, and here comes the peasant revolt. We don't need a peasant revolt right now. Control level will change by minus 75. You know what? Take our chances. Let them have the control level. We'll deal with it later. His army returned for another fight. Went about as well as the first one did for him. That's two victories now. And this time we captured. I'm not too worried about that. Let it be under siege. Oh, in the meantime, my daughter Rachel can marry. She's 23. Oh, her husband must have died. Interesting. Because she's got a child. Yep, I guess that's what happened. Who do we have as options here? Alliance power. Let's sort that way. This guy's Saxon. I don't think a Saxon's going to help me a whole lot. How about... Some of all skills. Oh, nice. Look at that intrigue skill. You want to join us matrilinearly? Yeah, let's do it. Bring that guy into our court. Okay, let's take a look at the council. Oh, I should have gone steward, but spymaster works too. Excellent, 27. But steward's definitely the way I should have gone. I'll look for a steward when this war's over. Alright, a lot just happened. I won a siege, but I also lost a siege. Uh, which means that in the process, we lost some courtiers. Let's see who all was killed. My courtier, Gerberge, was killed. My son-in-law and my wife were captured. We captured Earl Wolfstan's son and heir. So it's kind of a wash, but it'll all be better when we go deal with Warwick. Let me take that back. Although we got to watch Northampton as well. In fact, let's just go deal with his army. His army's actually gotten bigger than ours. That's, that's kind of a problem. Yeah, we, we marched right past the one army so we can defeat him half at a time. Perfect. Beautiful. Bring it on, dude. I'm in my home territory. This is going to be a tough one, but I think I'm going to win it. Our knight, Ralph, killed Aethward. Oh, beautiful. But then Ralph was wounded. I think we got this, though. Our army's doing really well. I have no available spouse. Yeah, she was captured. Where's my spy master? I didn't lose him too, did I? Dang, Ralph kicked some butt in that battle. Alright, that should be it. Let's finish this up. Enforce the demands. So be it. So we've got victories. That was a lot. A lot just happened. Not only in that war, but also in this episode. We need to get our people back, though. In the meantime, let's assign some people. Um, we have low control in three counties that will have to be dealt with. My wife is still behind bars. I could request a divorce. I don't really want to do that, though, but I'll ransom her. Oh, we could do it for a favor? Yeah, let's do it for a favor. Forget spending money. Disband the army. Excellent. 
All right, that was a lot. A lot just happened there. Um, we've got a lot to kind of clean up and deal with in the aftermath of that, but you can see how big our territory is now. We've got five counties. Uh, that actually, I think, gives me a majority of the counties that make up the Duchy of Mercia. Five under my control, only four outside of my control. Leicestershire, Nottinghamshire, Shropshire, Staffordshire. Um, I don't know what I need to do to be able to claim that title because right now the Duke uh, Morcar has it. If I thought I could take him on, I could probably wrestle that claim from him. But I don't know that I'm there yet. Look at the power of his military. 4,000. That's not something I can anywhere close to take on right now. I'm going to need a lot more than that. But let me know your thoughts about all of that. A lot happened there. And uh, we have a long way to go. So hit that like button if you would. And we will see you again tomorrow with another episode. Thanks for watching.